Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a smooth will zoom out effect easy in After Effects. I have already made that type of tutorial, but this one is a bit different and you may have already noticed it from intro. Before we begin, I want to mention that this effect will look better if you stabilize your videos and lock on in the center. I'm sure as an AM film subscriber, you already know how to do it, in case you are new here, make sure to check stabilization tutorial as well, and now let's begin. Let's scroll to the second clip with a wheel and then duplicate that layer, now make sure you are at the very beginning of duplicated one and then right click on it go to time and select freeze frame now scroll 70 frames backward hold shift and press page up seven times drag that froze will layer there and then make sure to stretch the ending till the second clip let's pre-compose that layer now i will name it mask and then make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected and then hit ok now we will need to mask out the rim, to mask I will use Mocha AE. In case you don't have Mocha, you can use any masking tool. In Mocha I will select an ellipse tool and mask the rim. Since it's a still image, we don't need to track anything. Simply click on save and then close Mocha AE. Now expand matte and click on create AE masks. Duplicate mask layer and then rename bottom one to wheel. This is going to be the wheel only layer, and the top one will be the car without the rim. So select top layer and press M on a keyboard, then change mask mode to subtract. I will toggle off wheel layer for a while because we don't need it yet. And here we have a clean car with no rim and we can begin making a zoom out transition. Let's create new camera layer. Make sure type is set to two node camera and preset is 35 millimeters. Now I will rename it to zoom and then hit OK. Cut camera layer to match at the mask layer. Now scroll to the beginning of a camera zoom layer and then make sure to enable 3D on mask and wheel layers. Now select camera zoom layer and press A on a keyboard, then hold shift and press P. Click on point of interest and position stopwatch icons to create keyframes and then make sure to drag those keyframes to the very end of camera zoom layer. Now make sure you are at the very beginning of zoom layer and then press C on a keyboard to select dolly cursor tool. Or you can also go to camera tools here and grab a dolly tool from here. Now let's zoom through the wheel like that until you don't see it. Now scroll to the middle of a zoom layer and with a dolly tool slightly zoom in or zoom out something like that. To correct the position, grab a pan tool, press C on a keyboard until you see it and then reposition the camera until it looks cool to you. Once you are satisfied with it, make sure to select all keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard to easy ease them, then go to graph editor. Right click here and select edit speed graph and then make a smooth curve like this. Let's check it. Looks smooth and fine to me, and now it's time to animate the actual wheel layer as well. Toggle on wheel layer and then scroll to the end of it and press S on a keyboard. Click on scale stopwatch icon and then scroll backward a bit and change scale to 0%. Now select scale keyframes and press F9 on a keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a smooth curve. Looks so smooth, but make sure to enable motion blur on mask and wheel layers for more smoothness. Let's add some shakes now, I will skip shakes part because I have made too much shake tutorials, also I have made 16 unique shake presets that you can get from the link in description, check how it looks like with my shake presets. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.